guys, we're in here in the creek thicket today and it is Halloween and it is the one year anniversary of when I killed my big eight last year. So I came back to the same unit hoping to have the same luck. I even brought in the rattling antlers that I used that night that I don't know if I called him in with it, but he came in about 20, 25 minutes after I rattled. Even though these rattling horns probably weigh 10 pounds, I thought maybe it was good luck to bring them in, but they're definitely a little excessive. Anyway, I'm finally set up in here. I don't know what time it is. 5.36 already. So I'm not, I'm not sure we even have an hour of shooting light left and I just got to my setup. The reason it took so long was, I wasn't that late getting out here, but to get into my spot today, I had to walk by a lot of bedding. And to do it right, not put my wind in all the bedding, I had to go around it and then drop in the creek and then wade down it. And I ran into deer several times in the creek, so I had to wait for them to move off. There was a, a nice buck, actually, a fairly decent buck. I didn't get that good of a look at him. And I saw a fawn, too. And the fawn was really giving me fits. I probably waited 15, 20 minutes for her to move off. But I didn't want to spook her. I could have could have made a commotion. But finally I got to the bend in the creek that I wanted to set up by. Every time I would go around a point, I would just hold my breath because I knew there could be a big buck laying up there watching. I just kept glass and expecting to see the antlers any time. Finally, I made it to this spot, this bend. It's basically a funnel in the bedding. And got in here and realized that I would have to crawl the last 30 yards. It took forever. It was just super thick. So finally, I never made it to a spot where I could actually see more than five feet came out past where I wanted to set up and uh, found finally found the trails that run through here. They're just torn to, torn to heck. There's buck poop everywhere. A uh, lot of sign. And try, I was trying to figure out where to set up and all of a sudden I hear these deer stand up probably 30, 40 yards away in this thicket. And I knew it was two. Saw a flash of antlers as they started to run a little bit and then it, they, they were just standing there for a little while. And all of a sudden, this buck started bumping a doe. I could just catch a glimpse of him through this thick stuff. And I didn't have time to get the camera out. And it was a decent buck. I, I, I didn't get that good of a look at him. I know he wasn't a monster, but I was thinking about trying to get a crack at him, at least get a better look at him. Um, you know, definitely a, a decent frame. So I was actually on this little trail over here and they were in this thick stuff and doe walks by. I don't know if they heard me messing around, they probably did. And finally they got up, but that buck started bumping her. So the doe walks by and I'm like, the buck is literally 10 yards away through this thick stuff. And I just start creeping up, paralleling him. And we're, we're literally just walking together. I wish I had my grunt tube out of my pack, but I didn't. All of a sudden, the doe just takes off and takes the buck with him, with her. So they ended up leaving and I haven't seen anything since, but finally got set up and that was really exciting. Definitely good deer moving already. And I'm hoping it continues throughout the night. Like I said, it's pretty late already, but it's Halloween and it only takes a couple minutes for some magic to happen. I killed my buck last year at uh, probably the last five minutes of legal shooting time, so pretty exciting. There's a really big buck living in here that I've called the drop tine buck. He might have broken off his drop tine, but he's a big deer. He's also got two stickers coming off the bases of each antler, and he's a big boy. So he's living in here somewhere, um, and based on a trail camera that I have, quite a ways from this spot, I guess. The way I've been picking him up on that one, I've never picked him up on the north side of this unit. But the way I've been picking him up on that one, he's always either, he's always coming in towards this way. And I think it's whenever he's going in to bed. So this is just a giant bedding area. And I'm thinking he's bedding on, I mean he could be anywhere really. 
but I'm thinking he's betting on one of the points of this creek, of this creek, and had to walk by one of them. And I probably would have walked by him if he was better on it. So that's not a problem. But the other one's uh, straight up this way. And I'm thinking whenever he starts cruising tonight, he should be working his way through this thicket and kind of paralleling this creek. We have a south wind, so he should be able to smell any does or anything else, any danger on this side of the unit if he starts to kind of parallel this creek. And I think I'm on the perfect travel route to intersect him. There's a couple other good ones in here that I'd definitely shoot besides him, but uh, it'd be awesome if any of them came in. So I think he's living in here. It's time to just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy the night. I'm just hunting on the ground again, and actually not even not even really by any cover except for that you can't see more than 10 yards around me. <laughs> I mean, not really. So shouldn't be seen by anything without at least getting a shot on it so should be fine but we'll see how the night goes all right guys we got about 20 minutes left of light here just did a rattling sequence tried to make it as realistic as possible and i'm hoping that all the deer in this bedding area were able to hear it. Obviously deer is farther away in here. Couldn't hear the real of them, but if anything's close, then I don't know, maybe 7,500 yards, they could hear me really getting after it, breaking branches and stomping my feet, doing grunts, trying to make it sound as realistic as possible. To really sell these deer, but We'll see if anything comes in. I've had way more luck. Um, I haven't really had anything ever completely storm in, but I think it had a couple deer for me. Rattling has maybe 10, 15 minutes after it, so we'll see what happens. All right, well, it's probably gonna do it for tonight. Still have a couple minutes of shooting light left, but getting pretty dark on the camera, so. Definitely good to get out here. There's definitely good deer movement. I'm definitely gonna go out tomorrow morning somewhere. Um, not quite sure where yet. I gotta look at the winds and kind of make a game plan, but I'll do it for this video. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to see future content. Thanks.